Where do I work after my masters? Which country will let me stay there for a longer time? And what are the job prospects? If you're convinced about doing a masters abroad, then this video is for you. Every time we think about doing a masters abroad, the first thing that comes to our mind is the job prospects, right? Well, today we'll be comparing the post-study work opportunities in two of the most popular destinations, the US and Germany. But, but, but. Before we start, do not forget to subscribe to our channel for all things study abroad. Let's start with the US. One of the biggest perks for international students in the US is the optional practical training and here's how it works. After you graduate, the OPT lets you stay and work in the US for up to 12 months. And guess what? If you're in a STEM field, you get an additional 24 months to be able to stay and work in the US. This sums up to a total of three years of work experience. Now that is a solid amount of time to get your foot in the door. During OPT, you can also apply for your H-1B visa, which lets you stay and work in the US for longer. But heads up, the H-1B visa is very competitive and has a lottery system. That said, during the OPT program, you can make connections and build upon your resume in the meanwhile. And here's the exciting part. The US has a strong demand for international talent. The highest paying MS degrees in the US are often in computer science, artificial intelligence and data science followed closely by MBA and electrical engineer. In fields like computer science and IT, roles such as a software engineer or a data scientist can get you anywhere between $100,000 and $150,000. And if you're in finance, positions such as a financial manager or an investment banker can get you anywhere between $120,000 to $200,000. Not bad, right? But how do you find these jobs? Find a detailed guide in the description below. Now, let's talk about Germany. As the world's fourth largest economy, Germany combines a strong job market and offers international students part-time working options too. If you're looking for work-life balance, then Germany's got you covered. Germany's work-life balance is known to be top-notch. And as a student, you can work up to 120 full days or 240 half days each year. That means extra income and real-world experience while you study. Post-graduation, Germany offers an 18-month job seeker visa, which gives you a year and a half to find a job in your field. Once hired, you can apply for the EU Blue Card, which opens up the path to a permanent residency after 33 to 48 months. Now, let's go through the numbers. In Germany, MS graduates earn an average salary of between 46,000 to 110,000 euros per year. With a high employment rate of 76.9%, industries such as engineering, automotive and renewable energy offer excellent prospects. Germany's per capita GDP is approximately $48,718, making it an excellent choice for career stability and growth. So here's the breakdown. The US offers a longer work authorization period through the OPT for STEM grads with high earning potential in fields like tech and finance. Meanwhile, Germany offers flexible work options, a strong job market with a high employment rate, and a path to permanent residency through the EU Blue Card. Both countries have unique benefits, so it really depends on your career goals, field of study, and lifestyle preferences. But what's the best fit for you? Confused? Book a one-on-one -on -one call with our experts using the link in the description below and let them help you clear all your doubts. See you next time.